guys it's amber welcome back it's been a while i know i'm sorry i was sick I have been sick am sick a lot of things are going on uh i have some extra fabric in my fabric stash i'm gonna make some skirts maybe in this video i'm only gonna do one and then i'll do another one in another video anyways let's just go right into it because you've already seen the title and that's what you're here for so let's go let me show you what fabric we're gonna be working with i'll put a picture up really quick of like what the inspo is uh, I saw it on Pinterest. I've changed it a little bit, which I'll show you here in a minute. But this is the fabric we're working with. So it is a soft linen. You can kind of see the weave there. Uh, so yeah, it's a soft linen. It's a little bit sheer. However, I think it'll be fine as a skirt, um, especially for the pattern that we're planning to do. Um, beforehand, I also made shirts. I haven't seen this fabric in a while, like in terms of like, I forgot that I even bought it, which... I just measured it around my mannequin just to make sure I had enough extra fabric because I didn't want it to be too tight, uh, meaning like, you know, it could rip or um, expose some body parts. So let's go to the drawing area. So, uh, this is just a quick drawing that I did last night. I hope you can see. So ignore this bottom one. We're working with this top sketch here. And I just drew out kind of basic measurements and the basic like shapes of what I'm going to need as far as the design goes. Um, so we have the front, front, uh, the back piece, uh, the waistband, and also the pocket as well. I kind of measured out what I would approximately like as a pocket size. So with that in mind, let's get to measuring out on the fabric, cutting it out, etc. Let me get my handy dandy chalk. Welcome to my floor. Very fabulous, very glamorous, I know. I have ye old chalk the skirt I mentioned a minute ago, and lay fabric. So I actually really like the length of this skirt, so I'm gonna try and emulate that. <clears throat> so what I'm gonna do is just kind of mark out the general shape, especially for the back panel, just because I wanna make sure that I do the back panel first, and then we can do the front panel. I'm just giving a little bit of extra seam allowance to the bottom. I know it looks like a lot, but... Two shots of vodka. I have plans to make a very nice uh, seam. Uh, no, not a seam. A very nice edge. Hem. Hem is the word I was looking for. And Wow, did you see that straight line? Wow. Anyways, what we're gonna do now, we're gonna get this cut out and then we'll work on the front panels. Cut, cut. Time to cut. All right. Ah, now we need to prepare the old front panels. But what I'm going to do is so here is yield back panel what i'm going to do with this fabric which is going to look a little bit weird i don't know if it's going to work so just don't at me please i don't know what the hell i'm doing i am not a professional seamstress i'm just going to go ahead and cut straight along so instead of curving it how this is i'm going straight i again i don't know if this is going to work don't quote me. I'm just trying my best. That's all we can do, am I right? 2019, she's been a trash can. <laughs> Here we are. I feel like this was too much fabric. Maybe? What the hell are you doing? Come on, cut, cut, cut. I'm gonna kind of cut right outside of the seam, just so I have extra seam allowance. You better stop! Oh yeah. Oh yeah! I very much enjoyed that. What I'm gonna do, fold kind of in half-ish. Half-ish. I know that someone is probably screaming, uh, what the hell are you doing? Girl, I don't know. I'm just going with what my instinct says, and you know what? My instincts, not to toot my 
not warm, but sometimes they're pretty flipping good. <laughs> we'll come back to the waistband. Uh, I have the back panel here. You're probably wondering what this box is. Clothespins. Because I can't stab my mannequin. She's too old and too hard for that. <laughs> turn, 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 turn. I'm just gonna quickly drape this. I'm gonna have to put darts in here as well. Patricia, why are your sides so... There we go. All right, close enough, good enough. So I want... So that's on this side, so that means this longer piece would go here. And then kind of that over to here. You guys see in the vision... To do with them, words, Amber. Are you guys seeing the vision happening here? Yeah. So then I have a double wrap, but a scandalous slit. Watch out, boys. There might be some ankles showing. Ooh, ooh, can't get those going. All right, so this is the top of the skirt. Let me grab the old chuck again. Have I ever told you guys how much I love chalk? I don't know if I have or not, but I have my little measuring tape here. So what I'm just doing right now is just finding the center point. So it's at 32, half of 32. Oh my god. 16. Wow. Okay, so 16 is the halfway point. Half of 16 is... 8. Uh, I made it about 13 and a half. And I did it on a half inch of each side. Alright, so now that we have the darts inside, or we have the darts on the inside, here, uh, now I'm going to pin the shorter panel to the skirt, which is going to go on the right side. So the right side is going to be the shorter panel, which is like this one. It's kind of like a, whoop, uh, I don't know what shape that is, but it's something, you know? Mm -hmm. All right, so I just sewed the edges together. That is a zigzag stitch in case you are wondering. Now I'm just gonna put a straight stitch right underneath it. Uh, that does a couple of things. If you pull the fabric, you can see the stitches when you zigzag. Oh, wait. So I'm just gonna add that extra reinforcement of a regular stitch as well. Can you see that? So you've got the zigzag and then you've got right underneath. Look guys, I am not a straight sewer, so don't judge me. Ah, I've got the panels sewn together like this. Wow. Wow. So the next step is going to be sewing on the front panel. <laughs> Ta-da, it's pinned. So now I'm gonna do the exact same thing that I did with the other side where I do a zigzag and then underneath I do a straight stitch. I I know this isn't relevant, but like, look guys, remember that thing we were talking about where the bobbin thread runs out? Uh, I literally barely made it with the zigzag stitch, so I'm gonna add more thread really quick. Alright, I'm done sewing that on now. Now we've got this, I know it looks like a hot damn mess, but that's okay. We're not done yet. First, we're just gonna try it on and see how it looks. Ooh, actually, that's not bad. Okay, here's what we got. I think, I think I don't need as much fabric on this side. Wait, you can't see. So like initially I kind of want it to like be a little bit more of like a slit. Okay, that's too much of a slit, but like, you know, just a little like, whoo, cute. Uh, but this is a look, am I right? What do you guys think? Look, oh look. I also need it to be like shorter. Uh, yeah, I think that's gonna look a lot better now, especially with the opening. Uh, I still have to hem it and everything like that and get the waistband ready, but. So I just finished hemming the edges like this. So you can see this is how it looks on the outside, this is how it looks on the back side. So now we just gotta get the waist working properly and then we can do all the rest. I'm tired already. <laughs> all right, now I'm gonna make the waistband. 
So my waist is approximately 25 inches at any given day. So I'm just gonna add a little bit extra onto 25. Uh, I'm gonna do, let's do around like 26, 27. Let's do 27 just to play it safe. So I'm just hemming the edge of both sides of the waistband. Done. So now I have the waistband pinned on the skirt. Looks like this from the front. I finished sewing down the waistband and I also added a stitch to both ends just to finish them off. Uh, yeah, so I finished the waistband, finished the edges of both sides of the waistband, and now I'm going to hem the bottom, uh, and then after that we can figure out how to attach it. So now I just have, I'm just setting up where I need to put, you know, anything that I'm going to put uh, to hold the skirt on. I don't know. Should I do a button? I don't know. I don't really know if I want a button on there or not. I don't know. Maybe a button would be nice. And also I've left like a little bit of gapping as well, just so, you know, like if I wear like a shirt tucked in or something, I can actually use that. 